Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be talking about the Teddy Santa's New Balance 990 V3 in the raw amethyst colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a, a ton of heat going out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for all of our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we're gonna be talking about yet another Teddy Santa's New Balance. This is the 990 V3 in the raw amethyst colorway. You can see on this postcard, these are the ones we've kind of been working our way through. And the amethyst is just on the back here. You can barely see it, but that purple is hard to miss. So we're going to talk about this amazing colorway that is so different and so unique from any New Balance I currently own. We'll jump into size and fit, followed by how I sell this really fun colorway. And then we'll conclude with how well these are actually doing on the resale market. And I believe it's because... We haven't seen this colorway before, so let's jump right into it. Teddy is at it again with just a really dope color combination. I have yet to see this color combo before. I never thought that I would like a color combination like this till I had it honestly in hand. This is a made in USA, so again, I cannot say anything terrible about a made in USA material wise sneaker because this is just always hitting the highest quality materials that I've ever seen on a sneaker, including the made in UK. This has this nice highly stitched in there uh, suede, which is nice and fuzzy, but in that raw amethyst colorway, this is such a unique purple as well. It's kind of a pastel purple, but it's just such a beautiful tone that I never thought actually would intermix with this navy, but the navy on the tongue here just complements it so nicely. We do have subtle gray hues here and some black as well, but as we work our way up to the laces, more of that navy accent with that navy, which is more of a metallic kind of shade on the tongue that hits quite nicely with this nice shiny satin black on the top of the tongue there. New Balance is in this kind of orangey red tone, and then it's outlined in a metallic silver color scheme. Let's take a look at those details, then move along to the side paneling. All right, so as we work our way to the medial side of the sneaker, we've got this nice pop of an almost salmon tone for the end, which is outlined in a nice charcoal gray and white colorway. I think it just complements that purple so perfectly. This is something I feel like I definitely am excited to start incorporating into my hues for the summertime because this is just a nice vibrant color combination. More of that beautiful raw amethyst purple goes all the way to the back of the heel. We've got New Balance again in that salmon color color scheme on top of the light gray. 990 is again in the salmon color scheme, which just pops so nicely off of that raw amethyst. The lateral side has that same end with the same color pattern. And again, more of that navy meshing underneath and the end cap for the midsole in that off white sail tone. And the sneakers completed with a gray color scheme underneath and a black outsole. The insoles on here are in that pop of orange colorway. And we've got New Balance 
balance on the interior and just a nice kind of white and silver interior for the inner collar lining. Let's take a look at those last and final details. lacing goes you do have a secondary option so if you're not filling the navy they do give you a classic clean white color scheme to put on if you want to do a lace swap now let's jump into sizing for the 990 v3 i would highly recommend sticking true to size on this one again i do have high arch narrow feet I like to have a little bit of extra space in that toe box region and i do like to wear thicker socks so if you're somebody like myself and you have a similar foot type to my own then definitely take my advice on this one but if you do have flatter wider feet or you like to wear your shoes a little bit differently then do take that into consideration when you're thinking about sizing all right so now let's talk about styling again and just such a really cool color scheme that I honestly do not have in my secret collection, especially in New Balance. So I love that Teddy has really come up with this really unique color combo. For the first look, I definitely had to put some purple into the mix. So I decided to wear a light purple tee, which I think matched the raw amethyst quite nicely. And then I layered that, or I didn't layer that, but I paired that with a nice, just bold purple mini skirt. For the second look, I switched it up a little bit and decided to wear some floral print. That floral print had some nice color combinations that I think match all of the different color schemes in the sneaker. For the top, I wore just a nice pastel light sheer top. And I think that that just, again, gave it a nice upscale look that was really just a nice option as a dressed up piece. last and final look i wore a sear sucker bustier top with a matching a matching mini skirt and that was in a nice just light white and pink color combination i think that pastel colors definitely go so well with this especially for the summertime So you let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you sell this?
Now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $200 and they are currently going between $260 to $360, which is crazy because this is just such a unique colorway. I wasn't sure how people were gonna feel about it, but when I had these in hand, I became obsessed. So definitely makes sense why the resale is pretty high on these. That's it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you, thank you. Hit that subscribe on your way out this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions leave those down below hit that notification box we have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store this is jtv my name is marissa hill we'll catch you on the next episode